Hi, everyone. I'm really honored to be presenting at the ESMA Conference 2023. The project we are presenting today is called Empowering Systematic Reviews with the R version of Paper Fetcher, effortless hand searching and citation searching at your fingertips. So my name is Qiang Zhang. I'm a PhD student at Johns Hopkins School of Education. I will take care of the first half of the presentation, whereas Akash Pallet will take care of the second half of the presentation. This is today's presentation agenda. I will first introduce what is uh, hand searching and citation searching. Then I will talk about why do we need a new tool, and I will explain uh, whether there are other tools before I introduce paper fetcher. So literature review. Literature search and review lays the foundation for most research. How do you search for relevant literature? I'm sure some of you may have used Google Scholar, Eric, or PubMed. For this type of searches, we call it the database search. This is the most common uh, search technique, whereas there are some other supplementary search techniques. And one such supplementary technique is called hand searching. Hand searching means manually browsing through the tables of contents from journals and conference proceedings. For example, this journal called Research Synthesis Methods. If I want to conduct hand searching on this journal, I will browse through each volume, each issue, and look at the table of contents to identify relevant articles related to my research. Another supplementary search technique is called citation searching. There are two directions in citation chasing. There is a backward citation chasing, which is also called the reference tracking. There's also the forward citation chasing, which is also called citation tracking. Citation chasing is important. Researchers have found that citation searching identifies 51% of studies in systematic reviews. For forward citation searching, take paper fetch as an example. Forward citation searching means studies cite paper fetcher. Backward citation searching means if you open paper fetcher's publication and scroll down all the way to the last reference page, backward citation searching means all the papers paper fetcher has cited. So why do we need a new tool? Broadly, there are three reasons. The first reason is that there is a rapid increase in studies available online, and therefore there are more papers to retrieve. The second reason is that the manual search is time consuming, laborious, and costly. From past research, time spent on this type of search ranges from one hour per journal's volume to 185 hours per 10 journals. The third reason is that it's error prone and lacks replicability. Because we are humans, the type of manual search makes us tired and it's easy to make mistakes when we are tired. It also lacks replicability and an easy cross-checking mechanism. Naturally, the next question you may wanna ask is, are there other tools that we can use? The answer is yes but they are limited. So the first tool is called SignFinder. SignFinder enables backward citation searching. However, it is not free and it focuses on natural science literature. The second type is called databases. They include Web of Science, Scopus, and Google Scholar. They are difficult to download in box and different formats. SpiderCite and Citation Chaser are free and um, of better features. However, to date, all the above tools do not automate hand searching. And that is the main reason for us to develop paper fetcher. Now Akash will introduce paper fetcher in R. All right, now for the fun part. Let's do a quick demo of paper fetcher in R. Now, in the interest of time, we are 
going to go through a very quick example of hand searching using paper fetcher. So what we're going to do is we're going to retrieve the metadata of all articles from the following two journals, you know, the Journal of Youth and Adolescence and Research Synthesis Methods, published between January 1st and February 1st, 2023. We're going to retrieve this metadata in the RIS format, which is um, a format that's easy to import into various citation management tools such as Zotero and also into systematic review screening tools such as Covidence. All right, so let's now move to our code. Paper Fetcher at its core is a Python package. What we are going to do is use an R library called Articulate to call the paper fetcher Python package within R. Now this involves a couple of steps of setup. Um, we first need to install Articulate. Um, if you don't have Python installed, you're gonna have to do that. If you don't have paper fetcher installed, you're gonna have to do that. Um, we're not gonna need to do all that. We just need to sort of import paper fetcher before that install Articulate. Um, let's get that done. The next step is to specify a list of ISSNs, which we want to, you know, hand search in, specify sort of the date range we want to search within. And, you know, Paper Fetcher also has the option to filter our search results using a bunch of keywords. Um, we're not going to do that here, but that's also an option you can consider. So let's run this. And now let's get to sort of our hand search. Um, Let's run all of this code. And then I can explain what it's doing. So what we're doing is we're looping over all the ISSNs we specified, and we're performing hand searches for each of these ISSNs. We're constructing a data frame of you know the metadata that we fetch. And we're also constructing RIS files of all the metadata that we fetch. So we first already finished searching through our first um, data frame. And uh, yeah, we're now done searching through our second journal. And if you click on this, you see we've got a nice data frame here consisting you know, of all the metadata that we fetched. We've also got these two RIS files. This is the data that we got from hand searching. Yeah. Now this script um, and also some other scripts for citation searching are available on our GitHub page. Here's the link. Um, definitely check these out as you know, these are almost ready to use. You just need to change a couple of parameters. And if you're interested in learning more and also about also in understanding how this hand searching and citation searching code works, um, we've got some R notebooks that explain the different steps and the different segments of code in depth. Um, these are interactive notebooks. You can play around with these, um, get more comfortable with using Paper Fetcher. In summary, Paper Fetcher is the first user-friendly tool to automate hand searching. It is free and open source, and it can be used by researchers in any field. If you want to learn more about Paper Fetcher, please read our paper, which was published just last year in Research Synthesis Methods. Um, you can always contact us, you know, email us or reach out to us over Twitter um, if you have any questions about Paper Fetcher. And also check out our web app. Um, here's the link, paperfetcher.github.io. You can scan the QR code. Um, and definitely check out our GitHub page. Um, we'll keep updating it as and when we add more resources about Paper Fetcher to it. Thank you.